last video lesson, we discussed the tools and preparations needed for collecting and pressing plants. We also covered the different types of plant presses and how to construct them. Now that you're ready, it's time to plot the sampling areas for collecting. What is plant sampling? Aside from determining where you'll collect your samples, it's also used to measure the percentage cover of certain species. The first and most important thing you'll need for sampling is an overhead map of the collection site. We'll tackle four techniques used to determine which specific areas you'll take samples from. The first is referred to as the quadrat method because it uses a quadrat. The quadrat is essentially a grid of string inside a frame. In the quadrat method, the collection site is divided like so. Each square is assigned a mental number and areas are picked randomly by drawing lots. Select the area and place the quadrat on top. Using the quadrat's grid, again, randomly select areas. The second technique for plant sampling is the line intersect method. This is done by drawing a random imaginary line across the collection site and setting points every 5 meters. In the field, rope is used. All plants that lie on these points are sampled. The third technique is a combination of the last two called the belt intersect method. The sampling area is increased and a quadrat is used. The fourth technique is called the plotless method. As you can tell, there's no system to this approach and sampling areas are up to the collector's discretion. Once the sampling area is set, the following data is recorded into a logbook using this typical format. Ready to start collecting specimens? Great! But before you start, make sure you know which parts of the plants you need and how to press them properly so they arrive at the lab in perfect condition. See you in the next video lesson!